Hey guys, today is Wednesday the 4th of March and I'm just doing another video today and uh, just quickly going to show you what I got from the co-op and then I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my IUD. So at the co-op I got, I don't know if you can see, um, it's hard to into video when you can't see what you're videoing. I got like lettuce melon, courgettes, avocado, onions. I haven't had onions for a couple of months now. Um, I've also got broccoli, tomatoes, apple, peppers, pears, and yeah, all of that was uh, twelve dollars. Um, so let's take you through a quick walkthrough to the bedroom. Um, so last Tuesday I... no oh, that lighting's not very good either. <laughs> oh yeah, so not yesterday but the Tuesday before I had a copper IUD inserted and um, of course I was expecting it to be painful. Um, I didn't take any pain medication. You know, the whole point of me getting it was so that I could be drug free and I wasn't going to take more drugs. Um, so yeah, it was pretty painful. Um, don't expect to go in there not feeling anything. <laughs> there was one thing though, however, that I was not um, really prepared for. Um, and of course you're never going to know what it's going to be like because you don't know what the symptoms are going to be like for you. Each person's different. But I was not expecting this to happen but I got quite ill, like I felt quite sick. I um, It wasn't straight away, it was say about 15 minutes afterwards and I, um, I felt like a like I couldn't eat or drink anything if I did then I would um, vomit which is obviously not pleasant and um, and sometimes I've had, I've had this before if I've ever had really quite painful um, cramps before it is sort of like quite how do I put it um, I'll just put it I'll just put it honestly it was you know it's a bit like diarrhea so I had that for quite a few hours afterwards as well. So I was, I I walked there. It's only like a couple of k's away, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll be fine to walk home. You know, I'll just get it done, and then half an hour later, you know, we just walk home. Um, but no, I was feeling really ill, and I was not expecting to feel ill. I didn't really want to go too much into symptoms online, and you know how sometimes if you and do a lot of investigating things like that and you sort of dwell on it and it can be a little bit overwhelming. I didn't want to dwell on the, the bad symptoms of possibly getting this ha done to me. Um, yeah, so I actually ended up having to call um, my man and be like, hey, uh, can you come pick me up because I feel like shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was kind of enough for him to come pick me up and I just sort of just lay in bed for the rest of the day. This was a shame because it was a really beautiful day. It's okay. I didn't have anything else planned. I made sure I didn't have anything else planned. And um, so I got that done. Yeah. You could definitely, when you, you know, after you get it done, you can definitely tell your body's like, does, does try to reject, you know, that there's this foreign object inside you. Um, yeah, so I, I don't regret, it, regret getting it done. I'll still have to go for a checkup, obviously, in a month. Um, I don't know if I will put myself through that again. Um, that's definitely what I was thinking while I was in pain and felt really sick. But, um, yeah, if you think about getting it done, um, seriously look into it. It's probably one of the only sort of non-hormone contraceptions out there that is uh, quite a high percentage of um, you know not getting pregnant and 
yeah, so you know, I'm I'm sure there's a few of you out there that have had this done or thinking about getting it done. Um, let me know your story, and um, in the comment section down below. And I hope you've done something that makes you happy today. See ya.